it was round in the fields out here that the the battle took place. Battle of Tewkesbury in 1471. I don't even know if it'll open, be open yet. I've got no idea. I'm going to walk round it anyway first. Look at that. This is where the Earls of Gloucester, the Declares, they became the Earls of Gloucester. And um, I'm going to try and get inside um, today. Like I said, the battlefield happened all over there. So some, you can see some of the stained glass from the outside. So I don't know if we've had a video inside, I don't really know. I'll come back and take pictures as well of this. Yeah, the declares of this area are connected and share ancestry with them. Richard Fitzgilbert Declare and all that lot. Yeah, so look at that. You can see the colour coming through on that window there, look. That's an exciting moment, really. It's only just after eight in the morning. I've got here really early. <laughs> it's the best way, really, because um, time, time. All right, what we'll do is just... There's Alberta right over there, bless her. Look. I've got to leave her a bit isolated at the moment. I mean, it's only today while we're en route, because she will be parked up in the proper... in the safety of a campsite soon. You can see how old it is, can't you? The brickwork and everything. I'll just have a wander around here. Because I doubt if I'll be able to talk when I'm doing it. If I do, I might not even be able to do a proper video. Um, you know, when I go inside. When these really public places, you can't always do like a video. I'm just exploring the gardens at the moment. So I can get some views. Well, this looks like it's a dead end here. Might better get some good views. This is Tewkesbury Abbey. It looks like sort of cloisters there, doesn't it? I'll go up to them close. I'll go up to them and I just walk around the edge, it'll be less wet. That looks like the real old bit there, and then the rest looks like it's been added on, doesn't it? Although with I don't know, I don't know, some old bits there. an old building there look and an archway down there and all the stained glass windows yeah that looks like a bit like one of those places where they all meet I can't remember what you call it now where you meet to have um, discussions and stuff
There's a few cars turning up now where I parked. Right, I'm going to turn off. I'll just do over here and then I'll do. I need to take some photographs. Look at that old pillar there. Oh, wow. Yeah, look at that. That could have been um, the coffin of uh, one of the declares. It's very old, isn't it? This one. It's a bit like the wibbly wobbly graves that you've got at uh, Bolsham. See? Yeah, this all looks as there will be a booklet on it, I swear. Magnificent ceiling and everything. Yeah, that's quite, quite impressive, that is. And, it, and all that there, look. All the decoration around the doorway. I imagine the main entrance would be around the other side. Yeah, there's a name for this. Where you'd have a bench and each monk or whatever, a priest would sort of sit, would sit there with their back against that, you know. That's what it seems like to me. I don't know what you call that. And there's another one of those old... See, that could have been a knight again. That could have been a declare coffin. Could have been. There's a few of them here, actually. It's quite likely. What does that say on there? It doesn't mean that matches up with that, though. See, that's, th that's another coffin. That's where the head was rested. In there, you see. And here, he had a big head, didn't he? But those are knights. Some slabs. I'll probably get a booklet on it. Gotta get it all on, on. This is as important to me as um, going to Stratford, really. Because this is the declares. Look at those little things in there, those little pillows, look. I'm just carrying on doing the video. Oh my god, look at that. Come around the corner and you're hit by that. Huge arch. It might not even be open. Might be too early. Abbey House, this is. Oh, look at some cop. The memory of Catherine, wife of William Thomas here. See? God, look at that. That's magnificent, isn't it? Look at that window. But the declares are in there somewhere. Yeah, that's magnificent. Even better when I go inside, wouldn't it? Oh, look, there's a shield. If you look there, look, you can actually see like a shield, look, in the floor. Oh, oh look at that face. I've never seen one looking that good before. That's a more modern one, but it's already weathered, look. Look at that. Wow. And if we go over the other side of this knobbly door, we've got another bloke here, look. Yeah. So I don't know what these big tombs are. Bridges, Edward Bridges, Bridges, 
here in the 18th century. High gothic looking, isn't it? but it's grounded so it can't be gothic because they tend to be pointed. Yeah, the way in will be there. We'll just have a quick walk around. There's the Abbey House, that's called. Samuel and Mary Healing there, 1848. Samuel, oldest son, oh he was 19. Oh right, the Healing family. That's probably another way out there. You need a whole day here, I'll probably have to come back on the return trip if I've got time. We'll see how it goes, I probably will do if I don't get it all done today. Or some more big tombs here. And of course they're not the declares or the Gloucesters will be buried inside the church, I should imagine. Edward Gould Richard looks like tree. That looks like it's something relevant though, doesn't it, what they're doing there? Lovely big trees. Wow, I'll have to come around again doing photos in a minute. I'm just carrying on with the video for now. Just carrying on with the video. This is Dukesbury Abbey, in case anyone's forgotten what we're doing. I've come here because of the De Clare connection. They became the Earls of Gloucester. They were very powerful people, very powerful. So I'm just doing a bit of a scan round. Lots of big table-like monuments. Probably people in the 18th century this will be. There's the town there. There's the old pub called The Bell. And there's some bells ringing. I don't know if it's a chime. Yeah, we're nearly down full circle now. Yeah, I should have brought the other camera for doing photos on, actually. Main entrance to the Abbey and the Abbey shop. What am I doing? Where is it? Have you visited the Abbey shop? I don't know. i just do a video of this. I don't know if you can just walk in. It says welcome. Please switch off mobile phones, it says. Stop there.